Welcome to AI in Real World. In this video series, we're going to build a voice agent that helps recruiters screen candidates over the phone, just like a real recruiter would. I'm going to give you all the steps, details, architecture, code to build this AI voice agent. Here is how it works. A candidate first schedules their interview through Calendly. You know, that classic pick a time on my calendar experience. Once they pick a time slot, we take it from there. When they schedule time, our voice agent will actually call the candidate on the phone. This is not just a chat bar or a Zoom link. It's a real phone call. And during this call, the AA assistant parses the candidate's resume. So the AA assistant has some context going in, just like a real recruiter would glances over the resume before picking up the phone. Then our AA assistant conducts a detailed technical screening with technical questions, follow-ups, and all the great things a great technical interviewer should do. Finally, it does not stop there. Our assistant evaluates the candidate based on the interview, provides a scorecard, gives it recommendation whether to proceed with the candidate or not. So the idea was simple. Take what a good recruiter does, what would take them over an hour, and compress it into a consistent, AI-driven, real-time experience over a phone call. Let's see a quick demo first. Am I speaking with Jerry? Yeah, this is Jerry. Hi, Jerry. It's great to meet you. Do you have about 30 minutes for our conversation today? Yeah, absolutely. I do. Awesome. Thank you. I'm Tom Lanigan, a senior software engineer with Big O1. I'm here to guide you through this interview and assess your fit for the senior software engineer position with joy and grace. Are you ready to dive in? Yeah, absolutely. Great. Just to let you know, I'll be speaking on behalf of Joy and Grace, the consulting firm looking for the right candidate for this role. Let's get started with your experience. Can you please describe your current project and role? Sure. Um, I'm currently working as a back-end engineer uh, on a financial services platform built with .NET, uh, .NET Core, C Sharp. My role involves designing APIs, uh, optimizing SQL Server queries, and deploying services to Azure uh, using Azure App Services and Azure Functions. Thanks for sharing that, Jerry. It sounds like you're working on some interesting technology. Can you walk me through the system architecture you worked on for this project? Sure. Uh, we followed a microservices-based uh, architecture hosted in Azure. Uh, each service is built with .NET Core, communicates via REST and Azure Service Bus, um, and uses SQL Server, um, in some cases Cosmo DB, depending on the use case. Thank you for detailing that architecture, Jerry. It's interesting to hear how you leverage different databases based on the use case. Why did you choose those specific technologies for your project? Cosmo DB uh, gave me uh, gave us the fault tolerance uh, and scalability that we need. That's why we chose to go with Cosmo DB for certain use cases. Thanks for explaining that. It makes sense to use Cosmos DB for those reasons. What trade offs or challenges did you encounter with that stack? Uh, one challenge was managing distributed transactions across microservices. We had to use eventual consistency patterns and spend time fine-tuning performance, especially with uh, large-scale SQL queries um, under load. Thank you for sharing that challenge, Jerry. Managing distributed transactions can certainly be complex. Um, moving forward, how do you use dependency injection in .NET Core? It was a quick peek at the interview agent live in action. And honestly, it's always cool to see how natural and structured the conversation feels. The agent handles the flow confidently, responds politely, and even manages follow-ups without sounding robotic. This is exactly what we are going to build, and I will walk you through every step of the way. If you want this recruiter AI voice assistant or want a voice assistant something completely custom, we can help. Whether it's handling inbound calls, following up with leads, or automating something totally unique, we will help you figure it out. Book a free consultation call with us. Link is in the description. Back to building this awesome assistant.
So now you might be wondering why even build this? Why a voice-based recruiter AI system? Well, if you've ever been part of a hiring process, especially for technical roles, you know how overwhelming the top of the funnel can get. As soon as a job goes live, recruiter starts getting flooded. Emails, LinkedIn messages, job portals, referrals, it piles up fast. And then comes a real challenge, screening candidates and matching them to job requirements. Recruiters have to make quick decisions, often with limited information. One of their first tasks is to filter out candidates who don't meet basic prerequisites. Are they open to work from office if the role requires it? Have they already interviewed with the company recently? All those prerequisite questions. Is that a mismatch in role or skill set? These are usually simple yes or no filters, but still, someone has to ask these questions. And once that's done, the next layer of complexity kicks in. Is this candidate actually strong in the required skill set? You might be looking at a beautiful resume. It has all the right keywords, all the right companies, solid experience. But as we all know, looking good on paper does not always mean the candidate is a good fit. Now, to be fair, recruiters are pretty sharp. Many of them, with just a short call, can tell does this person communicate clearly? Are they being truthful or dodging questions? But when it comes to technical depth, like how distributed systems work or which database to pick, not all recruiters have that background. Some do, but not all. And let's not forget the amount of time a recruiter has to spend in screening candidates. And that's where I thought, what if we had an AI assistant that could help? So here's what a recruiter AI assistant does. Before we initiate a call, an AI agent parse the candidate's resume to get a feel for the candidate's background. That means it's walking into the call with context not going in blind. We then have a second AI agent and it initiates the screening call. It introduces the company or the client. It asks all basic prerequisite questions like work preferences, prayer interviews, etc. If everything looks good, it proceeds with deeper questions. When our agent gets into their most recent project, system architecture and tool choices, trade-offs and challenges, and of course, technical questions customized to the role. The agent even follows up on their answers, handles curveballs, and if the candidate has questions, it answers those too. And once everything is covered, it politely wraps up the call. And here is the part I love. Right after the interview, we have a third AI agent that steps in. This one goes through the transcript of the interview and evaluates the candidate on a bunch of different axes. Hands-on experience, system design knowledge, communication skills, confidence, and ownership. And finally, it gives a recommendation. Should we move this candidate forward or not? So this isn't just an agent that asks a few questions and hangs up. It's a full end-to-end -end recruiting assistant. From resume insights to voice-based screening to post-interview evaluation all without a recruiter lifting a finger. All right, so if you're watching this, I'm thinking, okay, this sounds good, but what will I actually learn from this project? Let me break it down. This isn't just a fun demo. You will walk away with solid understanding of real-world production-style architecture for AI-powered automation. In this video series, we will cover everything you need to understand and even run this project on your own. Here is what we will cover in this series. We start with architecture, how the whole system is designed from front to back. We will see how components like voice calls, agents, database, schedulers, and webhooks all connect into a seamless pipeline. Then we see our technical stack and why I made these tool choices. I will walk you through why I chose specific libraries, APIs, and platforms. Every decision had a reason, cost, latency, reliability, ease of integration, etc. Next, agent design. We'll look at how to create purpose-driven AI agents using Pydantic AI, how to structure prompts, and how to keep them modular and testable. We will see voice integration with WAPI, how to initiate phone calls, stream AI responses in real time, and manage two-way conversations over the phone. We will also get into voice selection, how I chose the most natural-sounding voice model, and some unexpected challenges I ran into with voice LLMs. One of the trickiest but most important parts is stop and start detection in WAPI. You will learn how to tune it so agents respond naturally without cutting off the candidate or feeling sluggish. 
We'll explore Calendly integration. We will use their webhook system to automate interview scheduling. We persist everything using Superbase, which gives us cloud-hosted Postgres and a really nice developer experience. Then to automatically trigger candidate calls at the scheduled time, we'll bring in AP Scheduler so the whole system runs hands-free. We'll also show you how to calculate and track cost for each agent interaction. Because if you're deploying AI to production, you better know what it costs you per interview. We'll talk testing strategies, especially how I use chat mode to debug and simulate an entire interview without us in the middle. That is entirely testing with AI before we going full voice. And finally, we'll wrap up with deployment, getting things off your laptop and into the real world using platform like Render. So if you're someone who wants to build serious AI projects, one that goes beyond the playground and actually operate on real data, real people, and real timelines, you're going to love this project. So if you want to see more videos like this, please take a moment and subscribe to the channel. Let's take a look at the architecture behind our AI-powered recruiter voice assistant. I'll walk you through the full journey from when a candidate first shows up on the radar to when we have a fully scored evaluation in our database, all done without a recruiter lifting a finger. It all starts with the candidate's information. We assume the recruiter or an internal system uploads the basic candidate information into our database. I'm using Superbase here, which is basically a hosted Postgres with some really nice developer tools. If the recruiter has the candidate's resume, great, we upload that too. Resumes go into Superbase storage, kind of like S3 buckets. But no worries if there is no resume, the system still works. Now the recruiter sends out an email or a LinkedIn message with a Calendly link to schedule an interview. The candidate clicks that link, picks a time, and provides two key pieces of information, their email and their phone number. When they schedule the interview, Calendly sends a webhook to our backend. Our app receives that webhook, and this is where automation kicks in. We use AP Scheduler to set up a job to trigger the interview at the exact scheduled time. And just like that, the interview is officially on the calendar, and everything will run automatically. So what happens at the scheduled time? First, our backend checks if the resume is available. If yes, we invoke our first AI agent, the resume agent. This is one of our AI agents that parses the resume and pulls out a summary, core skills, specialization areas, and even potential red flags. Those insights get saved right back into the database. Next, we initiate a voice call using VAPI. That's the service we are using to actually dial the candidate's phone number. Mappy connects the call using the phone number the candidate provided. And once they pick up, it's showtime. Our second agent, the interview agent, takes over and starts the conversation. The candidate's response is sent back to our backend, and from there, the interview agent crafts a response. Sends it back to Mappy, which is then read out loud to the candidate using text-to-speech. This loop continues for the entire interview. Our interview agent follows a structured prompt. It asks preliminary screening questions like, are you open to work from office or have you already interviewed with this client before? And so forth. If the candidates pass those, it proceeds to a project-based questions, asking about recent work, system architecture, tech stack, and design decisions. It also dives into technical questions and follows up where needed. If the candidate asks anything, the agent answers those questions as well. Finally, it wraps up the call politely. Now, once the interview ends, we pass the full transcript of the interview to our third AI agent, the evaluation agent. This agent scores the candidate on hands-on experience, system design depth, communication skill, confidence, ownership, and clarity. And it gives a final verdict. Should we recommend this candidate or not? That decision, along with the scorecard, gets saved back into the database, ready for a human recruiter to review. So from parsing the resume to interviewing to evaluating, the whole flow runs with no manual intervention. It's 100% automated, tightly integrated, and fully trackable, which makes this not just a cool project, but something that could actually plug into real-world hiring pipelines. That wraps up part one of AI-powered recruiter voice agent video series. So far, we have covered the big picture, why this voice agent exists, 
what problem it solves and how the system is designed from the ground up. We talked through the pain points recruiter face when screening candidates. Then we talked about the full architecture, scheduling an interview using Calendly to initiate a phone call to VAPI to interview and candidate evaluation, all without a recruiter lifting a finger with full automation. In the next video, we talk about the tool choices, how our AI agents are structured, the reasoning behind the LLM models used. This will set the stage for implementation and code. If you want this recruiter AI voice assistant or want a voice assistant, something completely custom, we can help. Whether it's handling inbound calls, following up with leads, or automating something totally unique, we will help you figure it out. Book a free consultation call with us and link is in the description below. Hit subscribe if you haven't already. See you in the next one.